Hello and welcome to this series on GMeter beginner tutorial. This is the 11th session and today we are going to see how to create HTML reports from GMeter and how to use command line to create HTML reports. So we have already seen in earlier sessions that we can create a really nice graphical reports from the JMeter UI but if you are running it from the command line what are the options we have to create nice looking HTML and dashboard reports. So there was a session I had created earlier on how to run JMeter from command line non GUI mode okay so this is the seventh session and in case you have not seen this I would request you to go back and first see this video where I have explained step by step how to uh, run a JMeter test from command line and then you can uh, come back and watch this video if you are comfortable with the running JMeter from command line then you can continue with this session okay so let's begin and let's see what is step one so first of all we have to create our test plan and save it so this is my JMeter and this is a new test plan I'm going to add a thread group and inside the thread group let me add some sampler and let us add a HTTP request and uh, let us go to this website lifecharger.org and add it here okay let us also add few more samplers and let it be HTTP requests only Uh, let me add one more HTTP request and let me add about section I will name it as about page I will name this as home page and let us also add this archives page So we are going to do a test on these three pages, web pages. So let me also rename this as archive page. Okay. Now we have these three samplers added. Uh, let us add an assertion. So I will add a response assertion. And let us say response code should be equal to status code 200 okay and to view the results I will add a listener so I will add a view results in tree okay let us run our test case and before that I need to save it so I will say I will save it under desktop jmeter and let me give it a name as html reporting okay so the test has started and home page is successful archive page is also successful we are getting 200 and about pages also successful right so our test case is now ready uh, let me increase the thread group here the number of threads and users to 20 save it and now because I have created and saved my test case I can actually close the UI because now I have to run this test plan from my command line so I'm closing this okay now step 2 so this I have to save and close even if you do not close it is okay if you want to keep it open on your UI that is optional okay step 2 is open command line and change directory to jmeter bin so wherever your bin folder is so let me uh, first so this is my command line I have to go to my jmeter bin folder right so I have installed jmeter under desktop tools apache jmeter 3.0 
bin so i will navigate to this particular directory so cd users raghav desktop tools apache jmeter 3.0 bin okay so now i have reached the bin directory and now i have to run my command to run my test case right so the command is execute command the command is jmeter minus n minus n for non gui minus t is for the location of the jmeter script or the test plan file that you saved minus l is the location of result file okay and then we are adding two more options one is minus e this is for generating html reports and then minus o to tell the location of the output folder okay this is location of the output folder okay now one more thing to notice here is we can create these dashboard reports along with the test case at the end of the test case or we can also create it from a separate csv file suppose you have created and you have run your test case and you have your csv file with you the result file you can also use the result file to create the html or dashboard reports and we will see how to do that let us first see how to run and create these html reports so here i will say sh jmeter now see i am adding sh because i am on a mac if you are on windows you will not add sh you will directly start from jmeter okay minus n minus t and now i have to give the location of my script so my script is at users raghav desktop jmeter html reporting dot gmx minus l i have to give location of my csv file the result file so again i will say go to the same location and i want to save as uh, test one dot csv okay and now i have to say minus e for creating the dashboard html reports and minus o for the location of the folder so folder i can i do not have a folder as of now so i am going to create a new folder where my all the html reports will be saved so i can name this html reports and i will give location of this folder here so the location is users raghav desktop jmeter html reports okay and now i will just run it so you can see the test has started and it is creating all these logs and remember we uh, increased the users to 20 in our test plan before closing it right so it is going to run this test case for 20 users okay it has created and finished the test case and now it should be creating our reports so just wait for it and yes it has started creating the reports and yes we can see the test1.csv has come here and let me open it and yes we have got all the results here and if i go to html reports folder you can see these folders and files and you can see index.html this is the file that you have to open and now you can see the report right the html report here okay so this is how we are going to get our html report and this is really very beautiful and intuitive reports with all the details of the run okay so let us go to the dashboard and let us understand what does these report statistics mean in the starting we have the name of the file from which the report is getting generated the start time end time 
and filters if any will be displayed here and then you have app Dex, application performance index now what does this mean is if you click on app Dex, you will actually be navigated to a wiki page and here it says Abdex is an open standard developed by an alliance of companies. It defines a standard method for reporting and comparing the performance of software applications. Okay, so Abdex is an international body which has created some threshold and guidelines for uh, testing the performance of software applications. So 500 milliseconds is the threshold and uh, frustration threshold is 1 second 500 milliseconds and it shows that all these web pages are coming in this range right now this uh, number 500 threshold and frustration threshold one second 500 millisecond is configurable and if you go to your uh, jmeter bin folder wherever your jmeter is installed my jmeter is installed at tools apache jmeter bin and if you go to users.properties under the bin folder let me open this and you will let me search and yes you will find this jmeter.reporting generator abdex threshold and tolerated threshold right so as of now the value here is 500 milliseconds and 1500 milliseconds so you can actually change it and that will be reflected into your report okay and in case you want to know any other parameter which is lit to the report you can actually go to report generator dot properties into your bin directory and you can see all these options and values are related to jmeter html dashboard reports okay so any change in configuration if you want you can do it here you can actually find it here go to user properties and you know add it here okay so let me just close this as of now this is uh, some extra information if you you know want to do some uh, deeper level analysis but as of now we are more interested into looking our at our report okay so this is what abdex is then we have a request summary where it gives a overall summary of what is the pass percentage and what is the failure percentage so in our case 90 percent of the request passed and 10 percent failed then you go to the statistics where it gives some details of every sampler okay what is the uh, throughput min max response time then if there are any errors will be displayed here okay let us go to the charts let us go to overtime chart so you can see here it is showing response okay it's the average response in milliseconds and the time elapsed right so you can see the archive page which is shown in red the response time is going up considerably and the about page which is showing in yellow the response time is going down gradually right and the beauty of these reports are you can actually click here and you can make it appear or disappear on the report okay so I can make it appear or disappear on the report by just clicking here again the throughput you can see here bytes per seconds then latency again you can see the latency is the time to first byte so again you can see the trend here right so this is very useful you can also see the throughput charts okay all these graphs are very intuitive gives all the details about your test okay and then you have uh, response times now response time charts are very important and you know these are very useful okay you can actually uh, change this and response time time versus thread chart is there and then you can see response time distribution now this particular chart will be very important and this is something your clients or maybe your higher management will be very interested to look at so you can see all these pages about pages shown in yellow the archive page in red and the home page in uh, blue so if i want to go to my home page only i will just disable 
about page and archive page and you can see the trend of uh, number of responses uh, during that uh, all these times right during the time uh, duration what were the number of responses okay then you can see about archive page and then about page okay so you can see <coughs> the trend here it is going up then going down then uh, you know at some position it did not had any response coming okay and so on right so this will be very important and this is how you can do a very uh, detailed analysis on your test okay now there is uh, one more thing okay so step 4 is analyze html or dashboard reports okay uh, but even before this there is one more thing i told you that you can actually create these html reports even without running the test so there are two options to create report at the end of the test which is we just saw it right now and then we have another option create report from a stand alone csv file okay so suppose you have already created your test and you have your csv file and you just want to create the report from the csv file in that case you will use the command jmeter minus g location of csv file and minus o location of output folder okay so let us uh, also use this and see how does this work uh, let me go to desktop jmeter let me create a new folder here i'll again name it html reports okay and this is my already existing csv file which is test1 i want to use this csv file and generate html dashboard reports using this file the results in this file right so uh, let me say sh jmeter minus g and location of my csv file is users raghav desktop jmeter test1.csv and then minus o location of the folder users raghav desktop jmeter html reports and i will just trigger it and now it is reading my file and it will create the report so if i go uh, to my folder and yes i can see the report is created and if i click it yes this is the same report that we saw right the same report has come here again and this time i have not run the test i have directly generated from a csv file right okay so this is how you can uh, create html reports from command line and i created this session uh, because i got a comment on my jmeter tutorial where i have explained how to run jmeter from command line and uh, i got a comment from raghuram that can you please uh, let me know how to generate html report in non gui mode okay so this is how uh, you can create html reports in non gui mode and uh, if you go to apache jmeter site let me go to jmeter i am going to the home page of apache jmeter if you go to this user manual and uh, this is point number 16 dashboard report so here it is explained very beautifully how to create the dashboard report what is the meaning of each report okay so you can go here and then you can see all these requirements so you can make sure that uh, all the configurations are set properly and then uh, i'll show you the commands as well so these are the two commands we used right 
minus g and minus o for creating from an existing sample csv log file and then this one is for running the test and creating a html report at the end of the test right so this is how we create html reports from command line hope you like it thank you